Lecture 8, Output Step and Tableau Desktop Preview. In this video, you'll learn how to create a data file output from Tableau Prep. This output file can be a data extract or .tde, a hyper extract, .hyper, or a comma separated values or a .csv file. You can select to output to a local drive or a Tableau server. Notice that Tableau Prep does not amend the original data file used in your flow. Let's get started and open up a new instance of Tableau Prep and connect to the sales data file supplied with this lecture. Let's add the 2015 sheet to our flow and add a step after. In this step, modify the store ID to string and rename amount USD to revenue. When done, click the plus icon and select add output. Let's go through the options available to us in the configuration pane. The first option allows you to select your output destination. Here we have two options, either save to file which will allow us to write to an output file locally or in a network drive, or publish as data source, where we can save to a Tableau server. We'll leave this set to the default save to file. Now we can set the name and output file of that location here manually or use the browse option. Go ahead and select browse and select a folder location. I'm using my desktop here and I'll set the name to sales data and click accept. Lastly, we can select between three output types. There's the default Tableau data extract with the TDE extension, the newer and faster Tableau hyper extract with the hyper extension, and finally, an output to a comma separated values text file. Let's select the data extract option and then run our flow by clicking the play button at the very top of the flow. This one here, not the one on the output itself. We'll come back to that one shortly. When your flow is done running, notice the TDE file is available in the selected location. If you happen to have Tableau Desktop installed on your machine, you can simply start a new Tableau workbook by clicking the file which will launch Tableau Desktop. Here we see our data connection and we can easily start creating reports immediately. The process for exporting data to a hyper or a CSV is the exact same. Now if we go back to Tableau Prep, let's add another data connection for the store locations. Add a cleaning step and then correct the store ID type to a string field. Next, join it to the blue cleaning step and ensure the join is performed on the store ID field. Notice how the flow now has two branches, one ending in an output and another one ending in a join. Suppose we want to write the output of the join to another Tableau extract without affecting the one we have already created. We can easily do so by adding another output step just after the join. Let's configure this output to write to the same destination as we used before. I'll use my desktop. Let's name it sales output with store information. Once again, run the flow by clicking the play icon at the very top. If you selected the same output location as before, you should get a warning message to let you know you're overwriting your previous output. Click replace to go ahead. When the flow has completed running, you'll see the message stating two outputs have been created. Go to your output location and indeed, you should have two TDE files. To wrap up, let's go back to Tableau Prep. Remember how I specifically asked you to run the flow by pressing the play icon at the very top? The reason for this is that it will run all the outputs in your flow, in this case, two outputs. Suppose we only want to run the flow for the second output. We can do so by clicking the play button on the output itself. This will run the entire flow and only output the output that you clicked on. 
This is a fantastic feature during the development of complex flows where you can save a lot of time by just running what's essential to you at that time. In this video, you've learned how to export your data using the output tool. You know how to export to the different file types offered, including Tableau Extract, Tableau Hyper Extract, and the CSV text file. In the future, you may be working on large and complex workflows and you want to try out your data in Tableau Desktop. This is where the preview feature comes in handy. You can select any tool in your flow, then right click and select preview in Tableau Desktop. Now note that of course you do need to have Tableau Desktop installed in order to take advantage of this feature. If you do have Tableau Desktop installed, you can click this option and the flow will run up until the tool you clicked and the output of the data will be sent to a temporary extract and connected to a new Tableau Desktop file. And with that, we've come to the end of this Tableau Prep Bootcamp course. I very much hope this short course has given you the knowledge you need to hit the ground running and explore this wonderful new product. Thank you for selecting this course and I wish you all the best on your Tableau Prep journey.